chasing that big bag. Nobody rhyming that clutch in the fire on. My younger day wants on ride for him. He mugging we up and I hope that the what it do is your boy OTC Ro, and welcome back to Rule Reviews, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. Make sure you like, share, comment, or subscribe. Hit the notification button, roast, dislike, do the most, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. So we're gonna get straight into it, man. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. My mama always told me that when I was growing up. Always told me that. And when I got in trouble, I was like, damn, bro. Guess I gotta pay the consequences, man. Well, these are the top 10 convicts who freaked out after getting a life sentence. Shit. Hey, how's it going, all you most amazing top teners? I'm your host for today, Landon Dallitzing, and welcome back to a brand new video. Let me know in the comment section below, how long do you guys think a life sentence should be? Okay, so there are a lot of criminals who commit horrible crimes and evil crimes. So when it is their time to face a verdict, a lot of these criminals have different intense reactions to their sentencing. So here are the top 10 convicts who freak out after giving a life sentence. Starting off this list, number 10, with the mother and daughter's desperate plea. An 18-year-old teenager was sentenced to 20 years in prison after she used a dating app to set up a robbery that resulted in another teenager getting shot. When the judge handed down her sentence, the girl's mother dropped to the floor, crying out of extreme grief. The teenage girl was screaming for her mother and begging the judge to give her a lighter sentence. And oh yeah, I have a video clip of this. Watch. <laughs> And I bet you she had some niggas do it and them, them same niggas that was trying to get her a little money to set whoever up. I bet you they, they not in jail, they not in prison or nothing. You know, so... <laughs> Headbanger comes into number nine. Brandon Spencer is serving a life sentence for opening fire at a Halloween party store. And this took place at the University of Southern California. He was charged with four counts of attempted murder. And this is his reaction to his arraignment. 21-year-old Brandon Spencer of Inglewood bangs his head as a judge sentences him to 40 years to life after he was convicted of shooting a rival gang member at a 2012 Halloween party on the USC campus. Number eight brings us to two females who freak out after receiving a life sentence. You These two women collapsed in court after they were both handed life sentences for the death of a three-year-old girl. Shortly after the judge read... Bruh, and you don't expect to get life? And you killed a three-year-old girl? Damn. That's crazy. Their sentencing, they fell to the floor with emotional outcries and they had to be wheeled out of the courtroom. Okay, moving into number seven. Definitely unlucky number seven for this one. Jalel Hoskins... Ever seen them wrestlers on WWE back in the day when they get when they get stunner and they body just be jerking? <laughs> pleaded guilty to second-degree murder after tampering with evidence after he violently murdered a mother of five and dumped her body in a trash dumpster. When the judge ordered him to serve a life sentence without the possibility of parole, he threw the podium towards the judge and he had to be dragged out of the courtroom by the deputies. Take a look at this. <laughs> with deputies comes in to number six a 19 year old received a sentence of life imprisonment after he shot and killed another man in an attempt to rob him the convicted killer was still hopeful that he would at least get the chance of parole but when the judge said that parole was out of the question it sparked an aggressive outburst you guys won't believe this take a look first Number five 
five takes us to a man threatening to kill the judge. I mean, come on. Is this real life right now? During his trial, Juan Rodriguez was being convicted of murder for stabbing a nurse at a mental health facility. Instead of making any last minute pleas, he threatens to kill the judge if he didn't let him out of jail. Like, as if that was going to work. Listen to me. You don't let me out of here, I'm going to kill you. I'm a Jew. I'm going to take your life if you don't let me out of here. Okay? I'm done. Yeah, that's probably not the... Okay. Okay, go back over there, okay? I'll kill you all, you motherfuckers. Smartest thing to say to a judge who literally has your fate in her hands. A 19 year old man went into an aggressive rage after a jury sentenced him to death for a murder. And this comes into number four. He began knocking down chairs before he was tackled by dozens of courtroom officers who eventually dragged him out of the courtroom. Take a look at this outburst. <laughs> Stun gun shocks its way into number three. Andrew Worth was charged with first degree murder after he shot and killed a police officer. His bail was set at one million dollars. And after the judge sentenced him, this is how he reacted. <laughs> The officers had to use an electric stun gun to calm him down before they carried him out of the courtroom. Okay, moving on, number two brings us to Michael Marin. After he was found... So you telling me they gave one dude, one black guy, death for killing somebody, but the white boy who killed a police officer gets $1 million bond, bond for his bail? Hmm. Guilty of arson and almost facing a life sentence behind bars, he placed his hands over his mouth and swallowed something. A few minutes later, he began gagging and he died in the courtroom. A toxicology report discovered that he had poisoned himself with cyanide after he heard the verdict of his sentencing. This is insane. He appears to swallow something after the verdict is read. Notice as he reaches down and appears to get something from his bag. He then wipes his face, swallows something, and appears to swallow again. But eight minutes later, Marin starts convulsing and collapses. A violent man makes its way into number one. That's a man who know he was guilty and know he was not going to survive in prison. A judge sentenced Marshall Iguana to 40 years in prison for aggravated assault after he cut his niece with a butcher knife. After he heard the sentencing, he used a thin blade from a safety razor and he slit his own throat in an apparent suicide attempt. He did survive and he'll probably receive more time for sneaking contraband into the courtroom. Well, there you guys have it. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see trying to slit his throat like that in court. Hell yeah, you gonna get more time. Unsuccessful ass nigga. Anyways, man, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any more videos like this. I love videos, just, just things we don't know about, you know what I'm saying? About serial killers and everything like that. So send it to your boy. Send it this way. Make sure you like, share, comment, or subscribe, man. This is the last video of the night, man. I will see y'all tomorrow on the way to 1,000 subscribers, man. Have a good night. This is Real Reviews. I'm OTC Row. I'll see you when I see you. Gone.